Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today, we're looking at the relationship between script and object. And with C Sharp, object-oriented scripting, uh, we can create a simple coin system. Um, so we've got our coin, we can collect it, and it counts. And there we go. And we've got some more coins to collect. And there we have it. All right, let's get started. One of the first things that we're going to need is we're going to need to hop over to the asset store. We're gonna grab a prefab of uh, a coin animation. So if it's not up here already, um, you don't have an open tab, we're gonna go ahead and go to window. And in window, I'm going to scroll down until I see the asset store. And you can see that if you've already got your tab open, you can use that. In the asset store, we're gonna just search for coins. Okay, I'm gonna add some filters just to narrow it down. I'm gonna go 2D. I'm gonna take the pricing down to nothing so that it's free. And we'll just do a quick search according to that. And uh, we've got one asset here that looks like it's a good one here that's free. We're gonna go ahead and grab that. And we're gonna download that into our project. Once that's downloaded, we'll import it. And we wanna keep everything checked here, don't uncheck anything, and import. And now when we look at our project down below, we can see that that new asset, Animated 2D Coins, has been added in there. And you can see that there's a folder for some prefabs. That's our next stop. So I'm gonna open that up. And we've got a lot of different money types that are actually in here. I'm gonna go back to my scene. I'm gonna take out the US currency here and I'm gonna drag that out there. So I'm gonna bring that right out into my scene. And uh, that's a pretty good size. I might size it up just a little bit more, two by two, so that we can see what we're doing here. All right, excellent. So I've got that prefab in there. Let's go ahead and hit play. And there we've got our coin. Now, that's all fine and good. It's animated in there, it's rotating, but you can see, obviously, I'm not interacting with it in any way whatsoever, except for the acid there, okay? So um, I wanna make that now the next step. So we're gonna have two parts to this. We're gonna have the coin script, which is going to help us add on to the overall coin amount. So we'll have a counter that'll be up in the corner, and of course, we'll have the coin that you interact with. So we're gonna add two things onto the coin. We're just kind of planning ahead here. The first one with this selected, and I'm gonna go over and make sure that my prefab is selected, and it says USD over here. I'm gonna go ahead and add on first a circle collider. I know that I have to have some kind of collision with this, and that collision is going to be a trigger. Next thing I'm gonna add on is a new script. So I'm gonna add component, go to new script, and I'm gonna type in coin script. Now we've created this new script, we're gonna go in and edit it. Before we do that, this will be the first time in my class that we've gone into edit script in Unity, so bear with me. I wanna make sure that we're all set up here. We're going to go up to the top, and we're going to go to Unity and Preferences, and we're going to make sure that for our external tool, which is our code editor or our script editor, that we either have Visual Studio selected, or if you don't have Visual Studio downloaded, you can always go to Browse. I know my students have access to Dreamweaver. We could use that, so I can go to my Applications folder, and I could navigate to that. If you have Visual Studio, I would really prefer you use that though. I'm gonna click cancel because I'm gonna keep Visual Studio as my main script editor. Okay, once that's all set and it says your code editor of choice here, we're gonna hop out, we're gonna close that, and now we are going to edit our first script. Now, um, as we do this, we're just gonna show a little bit of that relationship between the object and the script because that is our goal here of this particular um, tutorial. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna edit script. So I just went over the coin script here. And there's lots of ways to get to this. I can click here and I can go edit script. Another way I can do this is I just created this coin script. So if I go to my assets and I look for coin script, there it is, okay? I can also double click on it here and it'll open it up in Visual Studio. And this is the, uh, this is the generic start of every script that you're gonna create in Unity. Okay, so um, we're working with C-sharp, 
That's the kind of script that we're creating. That's why it says uh, CS here, okay? And uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna delete this stuff out of here. We're just gonna take from bracket all the way up to the top here. We're gonna leave the bottom bracket and leave the top curly bracket. All right, and delete. All right, first thing that we're gonna do, we know that on our coin script, we need to interact with that uh, circle collider, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a function and it's going to be um, one of the most basic functions here, void, and we're gonna go on trigger. Remember, we created a trigger out of that circuit collider, circle collider, so we're gonna go on trigger enter, let's get this right, and 2D. Now, we're gonna go ahead and hit some uh, parentheses, and this is probably what it's gonna do for you automatically, which is fine and dandy. We've got a collider 2D that we're gonna be using for this function, and this is our name of the function. So we're gonna come down here and we're going to create um, something really basic here. We wanna know if we're hitting the circle collider um, and then it's going to be if we hit that circle collider or trigger it, um, something else is gonna happen. So we're gonna start with a very basic if statement, okay? So I'm gonna go if, parentheses, and then inside here, we're gonna say collision and that's where we're referencing this variable right here, if collision dot game object, because it's a game object that we're interacting with, dot tag equals player. And that's what we're gonna check with. Now, after our if statement, and I'll explain all this in just a little bit, so bear with me, we're gonna create another set of curly brackets here. So curly bracket, and there we go. So. If there's a collision with a game object that is tagged player, then this next line of code is gonna happen here, okay? So we can start off with something really simple. Um, let's just start off with the idea that we're gonna destroy that game object, okay? So I'm gonna go uh, destroy with a capital D, uh, destroy, there we go. And then uh, some parentheses, and we're gonna say game object, a lowercase g, capital O, and uh, that's all I'm gonna put for right now and semicolon at the end. Now just to recap, if there is a collision with a, with a game object that's tagged player, it's going to destroy this game object. Um, we're gonna save it though. We're gonna go Command S to save, and I'm gonna hop back into Unity. Inside of Unity, I'm gonna, the coin script is already on the coin, and we already have a circle collider that's on it that's set to trigger. The one thing that we want to check to make sure is our character, whatever character you may have that's going to interact with that coin, we want to make sure that they are in fact tagged player. So I selected my character and over here at the top in the inspector you can see that it is in fact tagged player. And it has to be exactly the same, so it's a capital P, okay, and that's all set. So let's go ahead and try this out. We're going to cop in, play. Once we get in here, um, in theory, we should be able to make a collision with that coin and it disappears. It destroys that game object. So we are interacting with the coin. Now that's the first part. Obviously there's more to it than just destroying the coin. We want to actually start to add on a score. Okay. So the second part is we're going to start creating a few things to actually count how many coins we collect. So uh, let's hop back over to our hierarchy here. And, uh, if you haven't created anything on the UI yet, this will be our first time. So we're gonna right click over here and we are going to go to the UI dropdown. Let me zoom in here so we can see what's going on. We're right clicked, go to UI, and we are just creating some text. It's gonna create several things when we do this. You can see that it's created a canvas, which we'll see in a little bit, and then it created some text on that canvas. Just for the sake of navigation here, making sure we know where we are and what this stuff is, I'm gonna call this UI. And then I'm gonna to go to the text and I'm gonna call this coin counter, okay? And that's just gonna keep everything nice and organized as we add more stuff on here to the UI. All right, so this coin counter, let's go out to this. Um, this is where double clicking on an object comes in handy because um, you will have a hard time finding this text most likely. I can see in the game view that it's right down in the lower left-hand corner here, but in the scene view, I can't see it anywhere. So I'm gonna double click. And there it is, it says new text. 
And also when I double click, you can see that there's this bigger white box that's going on here. That is my canvas. So I'm gonna make sure that this new text is moved into the canvas properly. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit further here and drag this over so we can see what's going on. Okay, and um, I'm going to arrange this new text up in the upper right hand corner. You can put it in whatever corner you want, but I recommend anchoring it to whatever corner you're gonna use. So I'm gonna go with the right corner here and now I'm going to move it into position. And once I move it into position, it will stay there. It'll always be anchored there in relation to my camera. Okay, so I'm gonna move this up, and there we go. And now let's hop into that new text. So over in the inspector, I'm just gonna put in zero because that's where our coin collector is gonna start with, okay? And um, I'm gonna put the font size up quite a bit. I might lose my text here for a moment, don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna click back on the box and resize it so that that zero is actually showing up in there. There we go. And now we're all set. So we got a coin collector um, or a coin counter, and that's the text. Now on this text here, we're gonna create another script. So we created one that is on the coin um, that detects whether or not our player is interacting with it. Now we're gonna create a second script that's actually going to do the math and it's going to take this collision and add on up here. And I'll explain more as we go. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's add a component onto the score text. So we're gonna go new script. Let's do this, coin counter script. There we go. And should keep us nice and organized. And enter, coin counter script, boom. All right, so now I've added that script on there, and just like before, we're gonna hop over to edit that script. All right, so now we are in our coin counter script in Visual Studio, and we're going to start making those connections here. We know that our coin counter script is on some text, so we're gonna begin there. Uh, before we can enter any text in though, because our text is on a UI layer, we're gonna add in something up here. We're gonna add in using Unity, engine dot ui semicolon okay and that's going to allow us to actually use the text in our script here so uh let's go ahead and call text boom and we're going to call this uh let's see here coin text okay and one more thing that we're going to call we're going to call a public static int which is an integer and that integer is going to be an amount that is going to be the coin amount. Excellent. So we got those two variables all set up here. Now let's go ahead and hop down. We're gonna hop down into the start area and we're gonna give it a little definition here. And we're gonna say that our coin text equals, uh, it's going to get the component that is text, capital T. There we go. And parentheses, uh, let's try that again. Parentheses and semicolon. Excellent. We're all set up there. So when it starts, when the script runs right away, one time it's gonna call this, it's gonna set coin text equal to getting this component for the text, which means that is the text component that is in our UI layer, the object that we created. That object is called coin text. Now we're gonna hop down to the update. Um, this gets called uh, once every frame. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say coin text dot text, because we want this to actually uh, be in text form, is going to equal the coin, let's try that again, coin amount. And that coin amount is going to go to string, which means it's gonna be printed. And then we're going to add in some parentheses here and semicolon. Okay, excellent. So our coin text is going to become equal to our coin amount. And this is going to be updated and printed out onto our text. So um, it'll update. Now, right now, there's no real math that's being done here. We have to make that bridge. So this is our counter script. It's looking for this coin amount to be updated. It's going to be updated because it needs to go to the coin script here. So the coin script is gonna tell it when that actually happens. Right now, the coin script is just simply, if we make a collision with the coin, it destroys our game object. 
Let's add in a line before that, because if we destroy the game object, we can no longer interact with it. So we'll put this line first, and we'll say, okay, coin counter script, because we're going to make a reference to that other script that we've been working in. Okay, and then we're gonna say dot coin amount is plus, let's try that again, plus or equal to one, okay? So what this means is this is creating a bridge to the coin counter script. And then the variable coin amount is being, being updated by plus one. So whenever our, there's a collision of a game object that's tagged player, this coin counter script will update the coin amount by plus one. And then the game object that this script is on um, will be destroyed, which is the coin itself. Okay. So in theory, we've got everything all working out here. Um, and uh, let's take a look at that. So uh, let's command S. And we're going to hop over to the other one and command S. Got to save both the scripts. And now we're going to hop back over to Unity. Once we're back in Unity, we can test this out. Let's go ahead and hit play. And of course, up in the upper right hand corner, we have the coin amount, which is currently zero. Um, that's what the coin text is printing. And we're going to make a collision with our coin. It's going to add the plus one and it destroys the coin. Now, um, I've got all that work done on one coin. I'm gonna hop out of play mode. And since I may put lots of coins in my scene, I'm gonna go over to my coin here. And since it's already a prefab, I'm gonna apply or update all of those changes. So if you've got apply up here, I'm gonna click apply. If you've got override, you're gonna click that and apply. So I go apply. And now all of this stuff has been added on there. And the beauty is when I go back to my actual prefab in my animated coin thing, and I grab that and drag out another coin out here into my scene. Let's try that out here. Boom. And there we go. Um, now on that coin, you'll see with it selected, circle collider, coin script, everything's good to go. So I hop into play. And once I'm in play mode, we got plus one. Hop back over here and plus one more. Excellent. So we can jazz this up and make it look a lot better. I'll leave that up to you. Just wanted to keep it short and sweet and focused on the object script relationship here in Unity. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.